Hello and welcome to Flash Friday, number 20. Yeah, another three-pack special for you. This time, it will be focusing on somewhat darker themes. Don't ask me why I decided this was going to be the theme this week. Just those were kind of the games I found and decided to play. It's not as bad as it seems, I promise. <laughs> they're just the they're just the games that came up. But the first one we have in store, yeah, as you can see, it says I was alone. It's called I am alone. So I don't know what was up with that. But it's. It's an interesting little game, I guess. So we're going to be using the keyboard. I was alone. She was alone. It started out simple enough. Took some time, but we got together. I would do anything for her. Even climb mountains. Why, yes, I think you would. I couldn't imagine my life without her. So I proposed. Oh, I guess we go. We go on. Our trouble seemed smaller when we were together. Well, at least they did to me. Do we just do we just go on forever and ever and ever? Yeah. I couldn't imagine my life without her. So I proposed, and she accepted. Here we go. Our troubles seemed smaller when we were together. Well, at least they did to me. What I hadn't known was that her world was crumbling. And the worst part was, I couldn't help her. Can't get up there. Then one day, she gave up and jumped. No! I was alone again. I once said that I couldn't imagine my life without her. So here I am, where she was two years ago. Ah, Geronimo! I'm finally with her again. The end. Dedicated to Lauren. I miss you. Ah, oh, that game. Right in the feels. Right in the feels. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. And, you know, I chose the game's orders kind of like how dark they were. So the next game kind of gets a little more escalated. And then the third game is an even more of an escalation of that game. So... I understand if you need to bow out. But fair warning, just just fair warning. So this next game is called Get Home. And we must get home before the song is up. This is a simple enough of a game, but it gets. It gets very rambunctious very easily. I feel lighter. I can jump higher. I feel faster. Oh, and we can jump on the houses. I feel lighter. Are we able to jump up? And I feel faster yet again. We can jump further and forward. We don't want that on. We don't need it. Is this? Oh, that's uh, that's not the right thing. If you listen to this music, you can actually, like, tell how serious of a tone it is. It's crazy. I'm gonna finish before this serious song is up. Nope, can't jump up there yet. So let's continue to the left. Fall down this dark hole. No big deal. We'll just follow this path, see where it takes us. Nope. I feel lighter. I can jump even higher. I'm a baller. I wish I were taller. Take this one. Dex back out and jump back up. 
Oh. I feel faster. I kind of just want to like sit here and listen to this song, but we know we gotta we gotta get home. Can't just can't just sit there. Oh, there's something up there for us. I kind of want to rock to this music, but it's it's not really the lyrics for it. <gasps> Jippy, I can fly. No, I can't. Sure, I can. Look at me. It's just the chemicals. It's always the chemicals. She's never going to let me in in this state. She's never going to let me in, not in this state. Well, we're flying. What can be any less magical than flying? The feeling of losing flight, probably. <sighs> oh, look, we're home. We can't fly. We couldn't jump. Knock, 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 knock. Come on, open the door. Sorry, you know, I can't let you in when you're all drugged up. I feel fine, really. It's not like before. But you know how sometimes you get aggressive. I promise I'll behave this time. Please, dear. Sorry, you know, I just can't trust you when you're on the chemicals. If you want to win this game, you need to get home without taking any chemicals. They're like an alternative route. Down here. There is... See, it's very, like, triumphant sounding right here, right? Because we're going to attempt to make it home without the chemicals. So it's very triumphant right here. In this first little part. Ah, oh, look, you made it. Welcome home. This game had like an alternative to its uh, to its bad ending. There was there was potential for a good ending, and that that is mighty fine. But then you also got to think there was that bad ending, like not being able to be in a stable relationship. Like that first one is kind of like the loss of a relationship, forgetting the other. This one's not letting your relationship like stick. So that's why I considered this one a little more heavy, is not being able to keep something stable. Because it's that fits in a lot more scenarios than losing someone, I would think. So no spoilers about this last one, but when it hits you, it's going to hit you, and it's not going to feel good. <laughs> Be prepared. Rise and shine, you can't spend all day in bed. Can you? Dun dun dun! Why don't you go outside and play in the forest? <gasps> of course! Ah. Looks like this game was played with, made with RPG Maker. My little boy's growing up so fast. Aw, mom. What's that? You're going off on an adventure? Ho ho! I'll just make sure you're back for dinner. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going on our adventure time. Oh. The rat approaches. Magic. You set fire to the rat. Takes 34 damage and the rat was defeated. Ah, uh, yeah, the little first enemies. You gotta fight them. Everyone has them. Well, the rabbit approaches. We we'll use a skill. Oh, we threw a stone. Such skill, throwing stones. Oh, and we leveled up. We're level eight. I don't even know what level we started at, to be honest. <gasps> a stray cat appeared. Let's use an item. We poison the cat. Oh, the cat scratches us. We lose some health. You attack the cat. Oh, such such creativity on the attack part. Such creative. Much wow. You bury the dead animals in your secret place. Yay! 
yeah, that's where it takes its turn. We just, we, I, I mean, it kind of was like, you got the rat, right? Oh yeah, duh, the rat. And then like you go against the bunny and the stray cat. Then it just becomes more real. Dinner's ready. Make sure you wash your hands if you've been playing outside. Oh, I wonder what sort of mischief you got up to today. If only they knew. And we had like, we had a dedicated special place for them. Honey, sometimes I worry living out here in the middle of nowhere isn't good for a young boy. Oh, don't worry. He seems happy enough. I suppose you're right, dear. Uh, the... Ah! What? This game makes you think you're going on this like heroic quest like with this kid and you start by beating up these first little creeps creatures critters whatever you want to call them and then you end up like oh no you know you're killing them you're like a sadist little kid and it's i i think that's worse than being in like a semi-abusive relationship because Growing up with that kind of mentality, like, that's you, that's completely lucid. Like with the drugs, that's not 100% you, but this, these are completely lucid thoughts to you. And so the fact that it's, it's okay, that's, oh my gosh. But I hope, I hope overall you and en you enjoyed this little <laughs> creepy uh, walkthrough of these three minigames, and I hope Flash Friday 20 is up to par with anything else you may have hoped and dreamed it may have been. And as always, let me know in the comments what games you would like to see me play in the future, as I'm always looking for new and great games to play for you all. And until next time, let's high five out.